Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video, and this one we're in Jupiter, and I am not referring to the largest planet in the solar system, nope. I'm talking about Jupiter AI Video Maker, the fastest and easiest way to make B-roll that I have ever come across. It is wild. Not only can you make B-roll faster and contextually, it's got a lot of other things that it does really, really well too. So let me walk you through it, show you what we got here. All right, getting started is very simple. You'll see here I am at Jupiter.com. That's rr.com. I'll put a link in the description below. <laughs> and uh, it's very simple. You can either sign up if you don't have an account. It's free to sign up or I have a free account. Let me log in here. I'm just going to click on login and then I'm going to continue with my Google account. If you have an email account that you prefer, go ahead and sign up with that. And then presto, you'll see here I've logged in. We're being redirected, and now we are good to go. All right, and very briefly, before I show you the ins and outs of the platform, keep in mind that when I click on pricing here, there are free and paid accounts here. I will put a link in the description below. Uh, I always recommend starting out free, but if you decide this is something that you could see yourself using, of course, select one of these three plans, and you can use my code, CurtisPike10, to take an additional 10% off. Link will be in the description below. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so now we're logged in, and let's... Let's get cracking. The first step here is I'm going to click on create new up here at the top right. We get two options, AI videos and audiograms. All right, so we're going to go ahead and create a new video. So we're going to upload our own video as opposed to using a sample video. The reason why is because I actually made a video for this, a motion graphic video of an astronaut out there in uh, flying around the moon doing his thing. And I want to put some Jupiter footage in. So I'm going to click on open and then presto, it's going to upload that footage. And let's give it a name. I'm going to call it Jupiter RR. Let's go ahead and click on that. You'll see here it is uploading. When it is done, I will come back and I will show you the next step. All right, so we've uploaded the video. It took a few seconds here. And then on the top left, you're going to see two options. You'll see visuals and subtitles. And when you look at the video here, you'll see it says, hello, it's me, Curtis. Those are obviously the subtitles, but the subtitles are built off of the transcript, which is right here. Now, I created this video, so I know exactly what I said. And I can tell you honestly that the transcript is a perfect transcription from the words I said in the video. In fact, let's just play a few seconds of it so I can show you what we're working with. Hello, it's me, Curtis. <laughs> I think I'm on the moon, but I'm trying to get to Jupiter, and I can't remember if Jupiter is before or after Uranus. All right, so there I am being a bit of a man-child, but hey, I had some fun with that. So there you go. There's the visuals. This is a video I made actually for this video. So, okay, now let's just look at two quick things. The first thing is subtitles. They are automatically turned on. And I mean, this is very, very easy to uh, play with here. You can either turn, you can change the font part of me. Currently, it's at post Poet Sen 1, which is really, really good. Unbounded, depending on the look you're going for, as well as the colors. Basic stuff here, as well as the box highlight. So you'll see here, you've got purple behind hello. But if I don't want that, I could just turn it off. These are all things that you can play with and quickly figure out. On the left side here, under visuals, we're going to go down to transcript. This is where we go ahead and make changes to the B-roll. And this is my favorite thing about this product. All right, so what you want to do now is under transcript, you'll basically want to go ahead and just basically select by just dragging the mouse over the part that you want to add in B-roll to. So in this case, I've got, I'm on the moon, but I'm trying to get to Jupiter. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of take over. I'm trying to get to Jupiter. So I'm just going to select that or highlight that and watch this. When I let go, holy smokes, this is where the 10X comes in. This is 10 times faster than anything, maybe even more so, because normally you would have to go to a stock website, download the footage, input it into your editor, etc. I just highlighted it and now I can start generating. So we get a couple of options. We get generate image, which is, you know, great. But in this case, I want to generate video. So here we go. We're going to replace that section with a new video. I'm going to click on generate video. And strangely enough, I don't even have to move out. I don't have to come back. It automatically does that. Look at that. So we've got a video of Jupiter. <laughs> now we can select another one here, but watch this. Let's just go back and view it and we'll turn the volume off. I don't want to uh, disturb you too much here and then hit play. Watch this. Bang, we've inputted in a video of Jupiter by just highlighting it and selecting generate. This is a 10x improvement in my opinion. This will save a lot of people a lot of time and a lot of money. 
All right, let's look at a few other things. All right, another thing I want to show you actually while I got you here is I can click on that highlight part and then it says here I can pick another one from gallery. So watch this. I'm going to click on this and then here we go. If I don't like the video it's selected for me, maybe I wanted this shot of Jupiter. I can just click on it. It will apply the changes and then watch. Here we go. There is the new shot of Jupiter. So you don't get like a one choice or a one click one choice. You get a whole bunch of different options and you can select from images and videos and you can even select from the different styles landscape and portrait for example so very cool stuff okay let's go back to the library here so we're going to go back to the main page and then i'm going to show you a couple other things that we can do all right the next thing i want to show you is their audio to video functionality it is wild as well up at the top here i'm going to click on create new like i did last time I'm going to click on AI video, but this time I'm going to click on turn your audio to video. I'm going to upload my own audio, although you can use their own sample audio if you prefer. But I've got my own here, so I'm going to click on upload audio. And I'm going to select Jupiter.mp3. This is the audio from my previous video that I showed you. It's only like 10 or 11 seconds long, so it's very short. So it'll be nice and sweet. But here we go. I'm going to click on that. Click on open. And then it's going to ask me to name it, basically. So I'm going to call this Jupiter and Uranus, something like that. Just having some fun here. I'll click on continue. It's going to take a few seconds to upload, generate titles, visuals. When this is done, I'll come back, show you the next steps. All right, welcome back. So it's gone ahead and made us a video just from that audio. And if I hit play on it, you'll see what we got by default. And then I'm going to show you how we can make changes to it. So it's great for TikToks and YouTube shorts and things like that. So let's take a look at what we got. Hello, it's me, Curtis. <laughs> All right. I think I'm on the moon, but I'm trying to get to Jupiter and I... Okay, so we got some, you know, we got some basic video in there and, you know, it's pretty relevant, like the hello. But here's the thing. There's a bunch of changes that we can make to it. So, for example, under subtitles, the first thing is maybe you don't want subtitles at all. So if I wanted to turn them off, I could just turn them off just like that. And therefore, you would see hello without the subtitles in the way. Alternatively, we can go ahead and change the font position. So look at this. If I want to go ahead and move this to the top, let's say something like that. We can go ahead and move it to 75%. Now it's out of the way. So let's go with that. That actually looks pretty darn good. Again, we could change the different fonts. We could change font sizes, things like that. You can mess around with and go ahead and do that on your own time. But if we go back to visuals, this is where the magic happens. The first one, hello, it's me, Curtis. Okay, I don't mind that. But the second visual, if I click on it here, you'll see that it's sectioned it off into pieces here. So if I just click on this, if I hover on it and click, it says here, I think I'm on the moon, but I'm trying to. So this is cool. It's like an astronaut, but maybe I don't want that as my moon shot. So when I hover on it and I click on it, it says I can pick another one from the gallery. So let's go ahead and do that. So instead of space travel, I could search for something like, I don't know, moon. Why not? Let's go with moon and then hit search. And then you'll see here we get video and we get images and image and video. So I don't know. I kind of like this one here. This looks like a, a shot of the moon. So I just clicked on it and now watch what happens. It's going to apply the changes and all of a sudden we've got the moon shot that I selected in, in place of the previous one. And it is literally that easy. Again, if I click on the last one, it says, I can't remember if Jupiter. Okay. I click on it. I don't think that really works. Although she might be seeing Jupiter in her 3d goggles or whatever you want to call them. So let's click another one from the gallery. And then in this case, instead of planetary positions, I type in something like Milky Way. I don't know. Let's have some fun. I don't know. Something like that. Or maybe let's just do planets. So it's just one of the different planets just in case. So I'm going to type in planets, click on search. And there we go. We've got a whole bunch of different options here. Note here, I've, I've uh, kept them to video only and I've got them in landscape mode. So for this one, I don't know. I kind of like this one. That looks like Jupiter. In fact, that might even be the same one from previously. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got Jupiter uh, flying around Uranus or whatever it is. I don't know how all that <laughs> uh, constellation of stuff works, but this is awesome, guys. It is literally that easy. I turned the volume off. If I want to watch it again, hello. We've got we've changed the positions of the subtitles. We've got the new moon in there. We've got the new Jupiter. That 
is all you need to do finally if you want it and you like it just click on export and the job is done guys this is an amazing program it's worth a try jupiter.com links in the description below and if you get stuck you can even talk to the founder harris he's a good dude i've talked to him a few times this is worth a shot worth a look thanks for watching